A patient has an illness that typically lasts about 24 hours. The temperature T in degrees Fahrenheit of a patient T hours after the illness begins is given by the function T of T. Notice how the function T of T is a quadratic function. We're asked to use the graphing calculator to graph the function and answer the following questions. We're also told to round to one decimal place if needed. So the first question is, when does the patient's temperature reach its maximum value? And the second question is, what is the patient's maximum temperature during the illness? Because we're looking for the maximum of the quadratic function, we need to find the coordinates of the vertex. So looking at the quadratic function again, notice how, because the leading coefficient, often referred to as a is negative, we know the quadratic function opens down and will look something like this. And this high point here is called the vertex, where the first value in the ordered pair will give us the time in which the maximum temperature is reached. So we're using the variable t for time. The second value ordered pair will be the function value t of t, which will give us the maximum temperature. And now let's graph the quadratic function on the graphing calculator. So the first step is to enter the function. Instead of using the variable t though, we use the variable x. So we press y equals, enter the quadratic function, negative 0.029, instead of t squared we'll enter x squared. So here's the key for the variable x, and then squared. And then we have plus 0.609t, but again we're using x, and then plus 98.8. Probably the most challenging part about this question is setting up the window so we get a nice view of the quadratic function. So now let's press the window key. We're told the illness typically lasts 24 hours, which would be along the horizontal axis. So let's set the x min and x max to let's say negative five, enter, 30, enter. And let's change the x scale to fives, which means we'll have a tick mark every five hours. And now the y values represent the temperatures. Notice that when t is zero, the temperature is 98.8. Notice when t is zero, the temperature is 98.8. So let's leave the y min at negative 10. Let's change the y max to 110. And let's change the y scale to let's say 20. And now let's press graph and see if this window is appropriate. So we'll press graph. So there's the graph of the quadratic function. We can probably tell that the high point of the quadratic function is somewhere in here. But let's adjust the y-axis again to make it more obvious. So let's go back and press the window key. Instead of having the y min be negative 10, let's change the y min to 90. We won't see the origin with this window, but it will make it easier to determine the vertex. So let's go ahead and press graph again. Notice how now it's much easier to see that the vertex is somewhere near here. To find the vertex, we'll press second trace for the calculation menu, option four for maximum. Notice how it's asking us for the left bound, which means you need to move the cursor to the left side of the vertex. So we'll press the left arrow. Somewhere to the left of the vertex would be here. Press enter. Now it's asking for the right bound, so we press the right arrow to move to the right side of the vertex. Press enter. By doing this, we're telling the calculator where to look for the vertex. Now it's asking us to guess, which we don't have to do. Let's go ahead and move the cursor closer to the actual vertex. So move the cursor a little bit left. Let's say about here, and now we'll press enter. And notice how at the bottom of the screen they're giving us the ordered pair for the vertex, we are asked to round to one decimal place. So we'll round the time to 10.5, the temperature to 102.0. So the coordinates of the vertex, run into one decimal place, would be 10.5 comma 102.0. Remember 10.5 represents the time in hours and then 102.0 represents the temperature in Fahrenheit.
So to answer the two questions, when does the patient's temperature reach its maximum value? That would be after 10.5. We want to select the units here, which would be hours. And for the second question, what is the patient's maximum temperature during the illness? And the answer is 102.0 degrees Fahrenheit. And here we select the units of degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you found this helpful.